Advent 4, Year A. From the Epistle to the Romans, we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name, which is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's readings give us examples of God calling us to obey him as someone seeking our good in ways that we may not be able to see in the moment. God has commanded Ahaz to name a sign that will show God's intention to save Judah from almost certain military destruction. For Ahaz, this sign is an indication of the timing within which God will save Judah from the kingdoms that besiege it. For us, the promised birth of this child is a sign of the coming of Jesus, the indication of God's willingness to come among us and to save us from all the forces of darkness that besiege us on every side. Matthew's Gospel reminds us of that willingness when it describes Joseph, a righteous man caught between the two evils of on the one hand condoning what he thinks is Mary's adultery and on the other hand of exposing her to certain disgrace and death. In the midst of his dismay and confusion, he receives a command. Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. This child will be quite literally Emmanuel, God with us. Today we await the birth of this child who shows us the light of his countenance so that we might be saved. That child has given us grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name. Apostleship calls us to look around us for those whose lives are wearied with fear and to show them the signs that something better is on the way. Apostleship calls us to stand in solidarity beside those whose lives are marked for condemnation and shame. In this fourth week of Advent, let us join with the prophets in proclaiming the coming of our Savior. Let the light of hope guide all our feet on the path that leads first to Bethlehem and then on to Jerusalem. For our God has shown us the light of his countenance so that all of his people might be saved. In the name of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.